All right, you maybe uh, love talking to a real person for customer service, but many believe that that human aspect of shopping is on its way out. Now, businesses are turning to innovations in artificial intelligence to help consumers buy products, and that means a chat bot may help you with all your online questions, not a person. Coca-Cola and the bank HSBC are just two of the biggest corporations to go, to go big on chat bots. Like many high-tech innovations, Israelis are leading the way, and this week the world's leading chatbot summit was here, held here in Tel Aviv. Joining me to tell us more about it is the man who founded the conference, Yoav Barel, and Christina Kakute, who is a digital psychologist. Yoav and uh, Christina, thank you so much for joining me. Yoav, I want to start with you. First, tell me a little bit about this conference yesterday and how you planned it, what you wanted to get out of it. Yeah, so Chatbot Summit is the world's uh, number one event for chatbots. Um, it was founded in 2016, actually. The first ever event was in November 2016 in Tel Aviv. Uh, the one after was actually in Berlin, where we bought over 1,500 people um, from over 55 countries. And yesterday was the third international summit. We had over 1,000 people from over 30 countries. Uh, it was amazing to see all the international community come and celebrate with us the, um, the third international one. Amazing. And Christina, tell me a little bit what it means to be a digital psychologist, because I thought to myself, wow, that's new. And, and, and a little bit about your research, which is tied to chatbot. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So a digital psychology is actually about applying psychology knowledge. So knowledge about how we are feeling, how we're thinking, how we're behaving, to the creation of technology, or in this case, chatbots. And uh, over a year ago, I conducted a research where I investigated factors that are related with the user engagement with chatbots. So what are the factors in a chatbot, that conversation, that people find satisfying and enjoyable within that conversation? Right, so that will influence, I guess, what like questions chatbot asks or what answers they give us? Indeed. The, the research showed that uh, the inclusion of small talk or uh, chit chat right. in the chatbot is very important. Is very important. Right. Indeed. I don't know how I knew that. I just knew that <laughs> instinctually. <laughs> um, Yoav, uh, tell me a little bit about the role of Israelis in the chatbots field. Well, Israel is a world leader in uh, all the revolution of chatbots. I mean, first of all, we heard uh, John Medved um, and his portfolio company, NanoRep, was acquired, Israeli startup company, was recently ac acquired by LogMeIn. Uh, and we have Lemonade, which just raised $120 million, and their service uh, for disrupting the insurance industry is conversational by nature. So these are just two examples of how Israel's uh, taking a leading role in this revolution, and we have many more coming. More coming down the line. Yeah. Um, Christina, are, can chatbots, do you think, ever be as emotionally satisfying um, for people as an actual person on the other line? Yeah, I think it can. It's only, yeah, I think it's gonna come in, in the future. In the next probably five years, we're indeed gonna have as technology as we've seen in the movie, her as a personal assistant who knows you, knows your personality, adapts to that personality, right. and understands your emotion. Right. You still wonder though, because I mean, you, you call a service uh, provider, let's say in the United States, and they're so friendly, you know, um, it's hard to imagine that like we're gonna get the same sense of comfort with like a, a voice that sounds automated, no? Yes, but the technology will be able to learn about you uh, right. compared to the personal assistant who doesn't know about you right. that much. Is that a little creepy too? I don't, wanna, I don't want them to know too much about me. <laughs> well, let's talk okay. about calling a U.S. service provider. Uh, waiting 15 minutes and hold is something you love doing. Right, no, that's true, that, really, will, right? that will go away. So imagine a world where <laughs> so you just pick up your be... iMessage or WhatsApp. Right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Right, now that was my next question to you, Yoav. We have just about a minute left, but how is this gonna actually transform businesses? So businesses are already being transformed. I mean, we have, uh, for example, Advetia, one of the largest insurance companies in Europe. They're already providing um, chatbot service for, you know, you, if you want to uh, use the service uh, to claim uh, insurance. Um, and we're seeing huge banks doing the same, telcos. So in a world where you want to uh, change your plan, instead of calling and waiting 15 minutes, you'll just use your WhatsApp or iMessage and use natural language to to solve your problem. Right, it's going to be essential. a lot cheaper for corporations and employees. Right, it's going to increase employee productivity and it's going to reduce the operational costs. Right. Do you see any, Christine, any um, pitfalls for chatbots as a psychologist? 
Yeah, I think the ethical part, the privacy part of it might be a, a difficult point, but I think we'll get there as with smartphones as well, right? We adopted them and we're now it's an inevitable part of our lives. I think that's going to happen the same with chatbots. Okay, thank you so much, Christina Anua, for joining me for the fascinating discussion.